Hello, uh, I'm here to introduce uh, the new Arolia SpectraTime MRO50, a miniature rubidium oscillator. But, but first, let me tell you a little bit about Arolia. Um, Arolia is a world leader in resilient position, navigation, and timing, or what we call PNT. And we refer to it as being resilient because uh, previously, historically, PNT was derived from GNSS signals, or GPS, if you will. Um, uh, but those signals are very weak. They can be modified, manipulated, spoofed, as we say. And so relying on GPS alone is not sufficient for many critical applications. And so what Arolia does is provide complementary PNT technology to augment GNSS and give you time and location you can trust. Um, a bit about our history. Um, Rolia is a global company with headquarters in both in Europe and United States and with a representation in over 100 different countries. Um, Rolia has uh, been around for it's now almost 15 years and has really been a fusion of several companies that you may recognize as you see over on the right hand side a number of these uh, brand names that you may have come familiar with. So that that is Arolia. So now let's talk about um, our our SpectraTime brand of products, our atomic clocks. These atomic clocks uh, have a full full line of atomic clocks. Everything from what we call our iSource, which are standalone frequency sources, frequency uh, oscillators, um, space-based qualified oscillators or uh, we also offer oscillators, our iSync line, which is our oscillators that are married with a GNSS receiver to provide even, even more accuracy and stability. And then also two lines of our iReference and iTest for specialized test equipment and metrology standards. So here's a, a number of applications that our, our products are in. Um, uh, if we start over on the left hand side, uh, our active hydrogen masers are used in radio astronomy. They, uh, we're quite proud last year the, the photographing of the black hole was done by synchronizing radio telescopes from all over the world and synchronizing them with the hydrogen masers. Fascinating, uh, fascinating project that was. Um, Another thing we're very proud of, if we go on to the right-hand side and look at um, our passive masers and, and rubidium standards as well, but our passive hydrogen masers are used in the Galileo GNSS system. And what's interesting about that is it's the only, only hydrogen maser, space qualified hydrogen maser in the world, only one operating uh, today and so something uh, we're also quite proud. But as you see, these oscillators can be used for many different applications, aerospace, ground systems, satellite communications, um, all kinds of things. So here's our line of, of products. Again, a full catalog that we have. And so let's get now to the real interesting thing, the new product we have, our MRO50. This is a, a groundbreaking product. It is a miniature rubidium atomic oscillator. Um, it has what we call low swap, low size, weight, power, and cost. Um, it's it's uh, high stability. It's the highest stability of any atomic uh, oscillator in this class, of so this class of what's sometimes even referred to as CSEC or chip scale atomic clock, things that are at the component size level. Um, it's also the lowest cost and it's, it's uh, as you can probably see from the picture here, it is the exact same form factor as a standard OCXL. So this becomes a drop-in replacement for an OCXL 
but yet has lower power consumption than any OCXO. So very useful in, of course, aerospace applications where size, weight, and power are important. Likewise, in military, especially uh, mobile, tactical vehicles, um, and then even in commercial areas because of its, its lower cost and low size. So um, let's take a look. Let's start with military. In military, um, positioning, the, the, as we mentioned, GNS signals are, are um, very weak. They use uh, what's called spread spectrum technology. So it uses very long pseudo random codes to, to integrate the signal and extract it from deep from the noise. Well, these lengthy codes synchronizing, doing the, the both time and frequency searches can be a lengthy process. And once you do that, if you lose the signal and you want to come back, if you have to reacquire, uh, those those precious minutes can can really defeat a miss mission. Here, with having an atomic clock, you maintain that time and frequency synchronization through these fades, in in and you 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 capture, recapture, reacquire the signal much faster. Uh, likewise, a similar idea for radio communications. Many radio communications are we call TDMA, a time. Uh, time duplex multiple access. So there is a time synchronization that all the uh, transmitters on the radio net need to follow and keep in sync. Again, you lose sync, you even go radio silent for a while or go into some power saving modes in a battery operated system, um, but yet you can maintain the precise hold over time for, for hours, come back on and still be in sync. Very powerful application. And another one, of course, is then is UAVs or drones. The fact that um, they are also uh, uh, using uh, GNSS for navigation and also using onboard inertial navigation systems. Those inertial navigation systems are integrating their, their um, accelerometer and gyroscop gyroscopic measurements over time. Any error in your time base is is integrated into that, causing more drift error in those INSs. And again, having a good atomic clock time base will improve that accuracy, improve those periods of where you don't have GPS. Let's look at um, commercial applications. Any 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 place where there's a a transmitting tower. So whether it's a a cellular base station, a, a digital TV station, any place where you are transmitting um, a radio signal, you need precision uh, frequency. And sometimes, especially in a network situation like cellular base stations, you also need to have um, precision time so that they're all synced up. Uh, again, most of these systems are using uh, a GNSS receiver for that synchronization but that network could be defeated if you lose GPS and having an atomic clock holdover is, is, is really uh, provides you the resiliency you need. Um, in um, the autonomous driving application, again, similar to the UAV of where um, you're going through urban canyons, you're losing uh, GPS, having maintaining that, that um, perfect time base while you're going through those fades, uh, enabling your inertial navigation system to be more accurate, uh, perfect application for this. And lastly, in the commercial world is undersea applications. Again, there uh, undersea, you don't have access to radio signals, so you're not going to be able to use uh, GNSS. And so uh, a perfect example here is seismic mapping. If you have uh, seismic detectors underwater to um, detect uh, seismic waves. Uh, you're, that's a typically a battery operated operation, so you want to have low power consumption, but you need to again, uh, have perfect synchronization of sensing the wave front of that sonic or seismic wave and having that uh, 
perfect time base uh, will be a good application. So let's um, let's play a little video that will give you some idea of what um, of, of all the things that this can do. Let's let's now look at um, how that um, product fits into our catalog. As I mentioned before, we make standalone rubidium oscillators, so you can use the MRO50 as a standalone. Uh, they're a, a version of space qualified, especially in the um, uh, LEO satellite for either communications or PNT, and then also married with a uh, GPS receiver to provide the ultimate in, uh, in accuracy. Um, let's, um, let's look at the details. So here, again, um, the, the stability. We measure stability in LN deviation. So we have different options with different uh, stabilities, but um, uh, typically 10 times more the stability than you're able to get in this class, this, this chip scale size, uh, atomic clock um, that has been out recently and more than 100 times the stability that you'd get with a standard OCXO. Um, as you can see, the package size, this is a drop in replacement for a standard OCXO, but the power consumption, we're talking, uh, this is a, a worst case power consumption of, of, point, uh, of less than a half a watt and with a steady state, um, uh, at, at more of a third of a watt uh, with with 3.3 uh, volt supply, so quite um, uh, uh, quite impressive and becomes an easy drop in replacement for um, for OCXO applications. Here here is a graph of showing how if you look at um, all atomic clocks. Uh, so what makes a good atomic clock? If we have in this graph here, we have in the x-axis, we show power consumption. So as I spoke of like a passive hydrogen maser or a, a, a space-based rubidium atomic clock, we'll consume tens of watts of power, but we'll give you then if we look on the y-axis of uh, what, how, much, how much holdover we get, well, how much drift will you get over a one-day period? in microseconds. So if you want sub microsecond, um, um, sub microsecond capability, you have to spend tens of watts to do it. Um, the MRO50 fits into this area here of where for, for you know, under, under a half a watt, you're getting holdover times sub microsecond, one microsecond drift over a 24 hour period. So quite, uh, uh, quite a, a great um, capability. So let's now look at how it actually um, works inside. Um, you can see the MRO clock consists of two packages. On the top in blue is the physics package and below in green is the electronics package. The physics package, which acts as a stable atomic frequency reference, consists of the following parts. First, 
on the left is the V cell, which is a low power infrared laser. And it's followed by an optical attenuation filter. And then these two C field coils uh, that make a compact rubidium vapor cell in a photodiode. So you notice that if you're familiar with classical uh, rubidiums, there's a, a, a plasma lamp and that's been replaced by by this package. So this is where we get our low power consumption and also our high reliability by using this type of method, this type of patented method. So um, quite a um, quite a uh, advanced patented method to um, uh, obtain this kind of performance. Lastly, I'll show you that we have the um, uh, where it fits in other Arolia products that we have are Versa Sync, which is a rugged airborne uh, uh, time and frequency device can be used in many different applications or our Versa PNT, a rugged uh, time frequency position and navigation device that covers all of those things there. Married in with all of our other resilient technology, things of, of anti-GM antennas, um, uh, signal interference detection software, uh, other alternative navigation signals that we can integrate in besides GNSS and um, other other applications. So the, the, the MRO50 fits into this to give a full capability for resilient PNT.